so this is my video on colors and revising how they're used um, with other objects let's go through the colors first so los colores naranja naranja lila or violeta rosa azul gris marrón verde amarillo blanco negro morado rojo so we have the colors again let's go through them again lila o violeta naranja rosa azul gris marrón verde amarillo blanco negro morado rojo okay so qué colores te gustan which colors do you like so this is how to express opinion we say me gusta mucho el rojo so i really like red me gusta el azul i like blue no está mal el amarillo yellow isn't bad no me gusta el marrón i don't like brown no me gusta nada el gris. I really don't like grey. Okay, so, and if we've got two colours, we'd have me gustan mucho el morado y el rosa. So, me gusta has an N on the end because the things after a plural, there's more than one thing. So, me gustan mucho el morado y el rosa. Okay, so that's how you might express opinions when you talk about colours. Let's have a look at them in use uh, with adject as adjectives, obviously, with objects in a pencil case or a bag. So hopefully you'll have gone through how adjectives work. If you haven't, then have a look at my video on adjectives first and then maybe come back to this video and complete this exercise at the end. Entonces, en pareja, los colores con los objetos. So match them up. Just be careful that you know what the endings are and what types of endings you might have to have on this side. Just pause it now and then we'll have a we'll match it up in a minute. Okay, so the answers are so mochila would go with amarilla because it's got a yellow a on the end of it. It could go with azul because that's not got a feminine ending at all, or it could go with naranja. But if we match all the others up, those are the ones that are left. Un cuaderno um, would go with five. Cinco, blue, muy bien. Or naranja as well, because neither of those have a feminine ending. Naranja naturally has the A on the end. Dos reglas, this AS on the end tells us it's got to be feminine plural. And the only one that's like that is rojas. Or you could have, I suppose, verdes, because that doesn't have a feminine ending. Tres bolígrafos has to be plural and masculine. So that could be with morados. It could be with amarillos. Or it could be with verdes. Cinco lápices. Lápiz is masculino, masculine. So again, this is plural. So we could have morados, we could have verdes, and we could have amarillos. Una agenda, feminine, has to have a feminine uh, adjective. So azul could be the one. Amarilla, and again naranja. And un estuche, masculine singular. Azul or naranja. So hopefully you got those right. If you're not sure how it works, have a look at my video on adjectives.